pray po tayo mga kapatid. Lord God yes. Jesus, salamat Lord God. Ping ito, pangunahan niyo po Lord God ang mga nanunuklas ng yung mga salita at uh, ang yung wisdom, knowledge, understanding ay uh, magbigay ka Lord God ng mga rima, Lord God Jesus at uh, turuan mo kami Panginoon na kami mahubog din Lord God sa iyong mga salita salamat po magpalaan niyo po ang tagapagsalita ngayon magtuturo Lord God, i-bless mo po siya at ikaw po manguna Lord God sa online service na ito purihin ka Lord God sa iyong papuri pagsamba Jesus name, Amen Amen Praise God Praise God Lord sa so, mapagpalang gabi mga kapatid, muli na dito tayo sa gawain ng Panginoon. At welcome po ang lahat ng mga estudyante po ng EBBS. Okay, so andyan po si Sir Lucy. Welcome po si Sir Lucy. First time niyo po ba sa Zoom? Ayan, uh, okay, si Brother Dennis, Brother Yuri, and si Sir Jaira. Okay, so... Uh, ayan, so ngayong gabi mga kapatid, bago po natin tuluyan ibigay ang uh, part ni Pastor Luis. Uh, sino po ba yung uh, present last Wednesday? Parang last Wednesday, wala ah. Brother Dennis. Hi. Anong last Wednesday? Ayan, hello po Brother Ro Jake. Brother Jake Garcia. Last Wednesday po ba nandun po kayo? Ayan, hingi po ako kahit mga dalawa na kung saan na uh, ano ba yung uh, lesson na natutunan nyo last Wednesday kay Pastor uh, Raydan Victoriano. Ano ba yung napag-aralan natin last Wednesday? Brother Jake, meron ka po bang masishare para po sa uh, nung last Wednesday na wala sila si Sir Lucy, oh, oh. sila si Sir Jaya. So, mag magbigay lang po ng mga, kahit mga ilang ano lang, ano yung lesson na may share Either Brother Jakes or Brother uh, Dennis. Miracle ako, miracle. Kagaling na. Kahit mga isang minuto lang. <laughs> ano yung lesson? Ano ba yung natutunan natin last Wednesday? Sa akin po, napanood ko po yung ano, yung nag-reply po. Opo. Pwede po ma. So, ayun po, yung sa akin naman po, yung natutunan ko po yung nag na si Lord, gumagamit po siya ng point of contact para po maipa, maipasa, ipasagawa po yung kanyang magandang work po sa buhay natin. Tapos, na, eto po kasi may apat na sinabi po doon, yung as point of contact, yung power po ng Lord. Tapos yung second naman po, positive expectation. Tapos yung third po, effect of the conversion po nung miracle po na ginawa ng Lord. And yung fourth po, yung the efficacy even to unbelievers po. Doon po pinaliwanag na dapat din po na yung faith po natin is Um, i-exercise po natin siya kung nasan man po tayo kasi wala pong imposible sa Panginoon. Yun po. Thank you po. Amen. 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 Salamat, Sister Jaira. No? Kahit wala si Sister Jaira last Wednesday, hindi siya nagpa-absent doon sa replay. Sana lahat tayo mga kapatid kahit hindi tayo nakadalo last No, mga gawain, uh, i-try pa rin nating panoorin para kapag may gantong conversation o kaya mga question and answer, at least hindi nyo pa rin ma-feel na absent ako kasi meron tayong na-share. Kaya uh, salamat si Sir Jai. Amen po rin ang Panginoon sa buhay God ni Sister. God glory po. God bless po. Brother Dennis. Ano pong uh, uh, natatanda nyo pong na-share ni Pastor Raydan last Wednesday. Meron din siyang sinabi, di ba, yung practice our faith in our generation. Meron siyang PowerPoint na ginawa, di ba? Apat din yun. Tatlo? Mga tatlo. Ano po ba yun? Amen! Sige, sige mga kapatid. Practice, practice. 
Amen. So, ang title, a title, anong title, Brother Dennis? Healing. Nakamute po yata si... Naka... Naka-off ka po, Kuya Dens. Ayan. 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 Title. Nalate ako. Late ako. No, Alate ako. Okay. Title oh, na lang, title. Tinawag ako ni Malu eh. <laughs> nalate ako, nalate. Ha? Title na lang po. Title. Anong title natin last Wednesday? Ano ba yun? Hindi ko rin na, ano, naalala. <laughs> Kati Sel, sorry. Okay. Title na last Wednesday is... Healing through the shadow of Peter. So Ay, yun. Oh, Naalala okay. ko niyan. Yung may binanggit siya, yung mga healing niya, yung ani, ani, anino, uh, ano pa yung, pwede rin yung cloth, yung ano natin, laylayan, pwede rin okay. yung panyo. Oh, uh, yan. Uh, ano pa ba? May mga healing kasi ginawa eh. About kay ano, Peter. Tama Amen. So, Praise the Lord. Ayan. Naalala so, ko na. Amen. So, sa pamamagitan ng mga, ano, na, no, yung, yung, yung healing na ginagawa ng ating Panginoon, ginagamit niya rin yung shadow ni Peter, ginagamit din po yung laylayan, no, no yung, 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 yung faith nila. No, sa kabila ng maraming uh, tao, Uh, hindi sila nawala ng pag-asa na makareceive ng uh, na sila ay gagaling kahit na sa madaanan lang sila ng shadow ni Peter mga kapatid. Kaya naman ngayon gabi mga kapatid, uh, tayo po ay maganda muli at magbibigay na naman ng panibagong uh, kaalaman ng ating Panginoon, yung panibagong healing. No, at ang gagamitin naman ngayon mga kapatid ay ang ating mahal na pastor, no, pastor ng satellite sa Bulacan. Kaya po sa lahat po ng mga estudyante, mga kapatid, uh, get you nyo po yung inyong Bible, yung inyong pong notebook at pen para kung ano man yung mapag-aaral natin ngayong gabi ay ma-take down notes po natin para next Wednesday po, uh, meron po tayong ma-share para naman yung bawat isang estudyante ay maging uh, kalakasan yung bawat salita at uh, conversation ng bawat sa mga kapatid. Kaya naman ngayon mga kapatid, maghanda na po tayo at kung okay lang po sa inyo sa uh, magsasalita, magsasalita sa ating uh, mala pastor, lahat po ng estudyante kung wala naman po concern, paki-off po muna yung inyong mga mic at uh, makinig po tayo. After po noon, kapag may question po, tsaka po tayo mag-open ng microphone. Kung meron naman talagang uh, katanungan, meron po dang chat mga kapatid. Mag-chat lang po kayo. So mag-start na po tayo. Uh, tinatawagan ko na po ang ating speaker for tonight. Amen. So God bless you, Pastor Luis Manla from Bulacan. Amen. Welcome po, Pastor Luis. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Okay, salamat sa Panginoon. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay nakabase sa Acts chapter 9 verses 31 to 34. Uh, lesson 4 tayo ngayon. Ang title nito ay Aeneas Healed of Palsy. Okay, lesson 4, Aeneas Healed of Palsy. Acts 9, 31 to 34. Okay, so uh, just a short prayer lang mga kapatid. Uh, maybe one minute. Uh, I just need Uh, yung direction ng Lord. Sige po, uh, samahan niyo ako, Lord. I am praying na yung pananalita at pangangaral o pagtuturo ngayon ay hindi sa salitang panghikayat ng karunungan, kundi sa patutuo ng Espiritu Santo. Upang ang pananampalatay ng inyong mga anak ay huwag masalig sa karunungan ng tao, kundi sa kapangyarihan mo lamang, Panginoon. So, aking dalangin sa pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's start uh, our lesson for tonight. Sino sa inyo ang gusto mong magkaroon ng pahinga, kapahingahan? Now, I hope you will not get yung, yung negative side ng rest kasi yung rest minsan iniisip ng tao ay parang rest in peace. Hindi, hindi yun. Okay. Matthew 11.28, ang sabi ng Bible, Come unto me, all you that labor 
and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Yan. Binanggit ng Panginoon yan. Sabi niya, naparito at uh, magsiparito sa akin. Kayong lahat na nangapapagal at nangabibigat ang lubha at kayo'y aking pagpapahingahin. It is God's uh, intention and desire na tayo ay magkaroon ng kapahingahan. Okay. Now, sa Acts 9, 31, ito na yung lesson natin. Uh, nabanggit yun ng Bible, Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria. Sa Tagalog, sabi ganun, sa gayoy, nagkaroon ng kapayapaan ng iglesia sa buong Judea at Galilea at Samaria. Now, dito makikita natin na ang church, the church rested from persecution. That's the first point that I would like you to uh, notice dito sa ating pag-aaral. The church rested from persecution. That's point number one. Okay. Now, yung resting dito, yung oh, church nagkaroon nag ng... Okay. Okay, yung church uh, nagkaroon ng rest dito. Resting doesn't mean apart from Christ. Ibig sabihin, nalayo sa Panginoon. But, yung resting dito ay resting from persecution because of the conversion of Apostle Paul, the pro formerly uh, Saul, uh, probably one of the greatest persecutor. Now, bakit ko nasabi na one of the greatest persecutors si Apostle Paul? Kasi sabi sa 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15, ito ang sabi ng Bible, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that, Jesus, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners ang sabi na po si Paul, on whom I am chief. Yan, sabi niya. Si Paul mismo nagsabi, of all sinners, siya daw ang pinaka uh, chief of all sinners. So, I would say na one of the greatest uh, persecutor was Apostle Paul. Now, after three years of Paul's conversion, dito na uh, reduce yung persecution. And as a result, ang mga believers sa Acts chapter 9 verse 31, sabi dyan, We're edified and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost, then we're multiplied. Sa Tagalog, palibhasa ay pinagtibay at sa paglakad na may takot sa Panginoon ay may kaaliwan ng Espiritu Santo at sila ay nagsidami. Now, from the scripture, we can say that okay, the ministry of the Word, okay, And the keeping of ordinances, their mutual love, their, their mutual love for each other, and holy living, even their membership, did, uh, did not decrease, but rather nagmultiply. So, uh, from dun sa binasa natin, makikita natin, evident ito nangyari sa kanila. Now, uh, pansinin natin yung mga words na ginamit, dito ng Bible, walking in the fear of the Lord. Ano bang ibig sabihin nito ang walking in the fear of the Lord? Uh, ang ibig sabihin nito, they were careful in committing sin against God and the church. So, they were focused on building each other's faith and holy living. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng walking in the fear of the Lord. Now, another thing that you would notice is that yung in the comfort of the Holy Ghost. So, kasi pag binalikan nyo, walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost. So, uh, it, that would also mean walking in the comfort of the Holy Ghost. That means having peace and joy through small groups and church gathering. Kasi during those days, they gather, uh, hindi katulad sa panahon natin ngayon, it's pandemic, so, ang hirap na mag-gather ang mga believers. And if ever mag-gather ang mga believers ngayon, ay in a very short uh, number lang. Parang small group lang ang gathering. Uh, nevertheless, nakita natin kung paano yung result. Okay. Ang sabi sa Acts, Acts 9.31 ay sila daw ay nagsidami. They were multiplied. Okay. Now, many converts were brought to the Lord and I would say glory to God for that. Okay. Now, second point na makikita natin dito sa ating pinag-aaralan is the ministry of follow-up and visitation. Okay. Saan natin makikita yan? Sa Acts chapter 9, verse 32. And it came to pass as Peter passed throughout all quarters, he came down also to the saints which dwell at Lida. Sa Tagalog, at nangyari, na sa paglalakad ni Pedro sa lahat ng dako, siya ay naparoon naman sa mga banal na nangananahan sa Lida. So, 
you can say, uh, we can say na ito is the ministry of follow-up and visitation kasi si Pedro ay nagkaroon ng opportunity na makita yung mga mananampalataya na nananahan nga daw doon sa Lida only. Sa English ay, ah, sa, sa Lida nga. Okay. Now, uh, pa, dito, dito sa si statement na ito, uh, ang sabi ni pastor dito na ang prayer is, is like, uh, katulad ng prayer, ang follow-up and visitation are also the work of every member of the Lord's Church. Uh, according to pastor, ang follow-up and visitation ay trabaho din ng lahat ng mananampalataya sa iglesia. Uh, sa kanyang definition, definition ni pastor, itong follow-up and visitation is uh, defined as pastoral care ministry. At ito ay under the direct responsibility of the church pastor. Okay. So itong follow-up and visitation. Tinawag niya ito na pastoral care ministry. Uh, dinify niya. Okay. Now, according to pastor, the church pastor will lead them in making visitation Okay, according to pastor, the church pastor will lead them in making visitation and follow-ups. He teaches them how to do it by assigning them to be with him and do specific work during his visitation. Ayan, so ito yun. Okay, as I understand, once the member are already trained, okay, and uh, they are Encourage also to continue to visit and pray for each other so that brethren will be edified through their testimonies and sharing of God's word. So, uh, pag tinignan natin yung definition ni Pastor about this follow-up and visitation, sa kanya, ito ay uh, under sa uh, pastoral care ministry. Okay? So, gusto niya na bago magkaroon ng visitation, kailangan mo nang dumaan sa kanyang training, under his training, which is also good kasi uh, it would be better na mag-undergo ng training ang mga mananampalata, mananampalata before they do a follow-up and visitation. So, para sa ganun, maiwas sila doon sa mga problema that would occur during the uh, follow-up and visitation. Kaya nga, nabanggit nga ni Pastor dito na uh, gusto niya na uh, ilig sila into the visitation, siya ang maglilig, uh, they will, siya ang magkiteach, and will give them assignments, specific assignments during sa kanyang visitation. Okay. From there, okay, matututo na tayo how to do the visitation. Okay. So, as I understand it, once we learn it, we already learn the basics, we already learn the, the do's and don'ts of the follow-up and visitation, then we can continue. We are encouraged to continue to visit and pray for each other so that the brethren will be edified through our testimonies and sharing of God's word. Okay. Now, sa Acts 9.33, pag napansin niyo, if you happen, kung ako nasusundan ninyo mga kapatid, yung sa text natin, Acts 9.33, ang sabi yan, and there he found a certain man named Emmaus, ito na yung tao na pinag-aaralan natin, which had kept his bed eight years and was sick of palsy. Now, Sa Tagalog at doon natagpuan niya si Pedro, ang isang lalaki na nagngangalang Ineas na walo, walo pang taong sumas, uh, sumasabanig sapagkat siya ay lumpo. Okay, so imagine 8 years na itong tao nito ay nasa bed. Uh, never had the opportunity to walk, never had the opportunity to go anywhere but just to be in bed for 8 years. Now, Ito yung third point that I would like uh, us to notice. Miracle, okay, third point is miracle accompanies care workers. Okay? Kapag ikaw ay nag, nag, uh, doing visitation and follow-up, meron talagang susunod at meron talagang mangyayaring uh, miracle. Okay? Meron talagang mangyayaring ganun. Now, uh, ako, naging interesado ako, yung Yung number eight, kasi he was kept in bed for eight years. Now, I remember when, when I was studying sa PBDC, we, 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 we were taught about gematria. Gematria is uh, the science that deals with biblical numbers. Yeah, that's how 
we uh, that's how we were taught during the PBDC. And so, nagkaroon ako ng curiosity uh, of knowing the number eight means. Okay, eight means. Okay, yung Bible uh, significance ng number eight. Eight means a new life. Okay, that's that's the eight. So, number eight means new life. Okay, it also means resurrection. Okay, or a new beginning. Okay, now uh, ulitin ko. Eight means new life. Okay, resurrection or a new beginning. Uh, classic example of this I uh, Genesis chapter 7 verse 7, 2 Peter 2, 5. Okay, ito, nung si Noah, diba? eight people on Noah's ark. Okay, Jesus rose from the dead on the eighth day. That's beginning, a new beginning. Okay, so yan ang significance ng number eight. So, care workers should always be ready to pray for those they will visit, whether members or not. So, lahat ng mga lahat ng mga mananampalataya who are doing uh, visit, uh, visitation and follow up should be ready to pray regardless of member siya o hindi. Now, uh, bakit? Kasi we do not, uh, tawag dito, hindi tayo nagtatangin ng tao. So, whoever needs prayer should be prayed. And they will always be sick people along the way. Just like what we are studying right now. And prayer is of utmost importance. Isa sa pinaka-importante na bit-bit natin bilang uh, mga mananampalataya when we do uh, visitation, follow-up and visitation is prayer. Okay? It's not the food or if ever you bring food or whatever. Okay? Prayer is of utmost importance. Okay? Pananalangin. Because... Usually, yun ang kailangan-kailangan nila during that time. Okay, Acts 9.34, anong sabi ng Bible? And Peter said unto them, Aeneas, sabi niya, ah, Peter said unto him, sorry, Aeneas, Jesus Christ maketh thee whole, arise and make thy bed, and he arose immediately. Can you imagine what happened? Peter said, ito, binanggit lang niya, walang ano, walang, uh, there was no, uh, hindi naman binanggit kung ano, kung hinipo ba niya, naghagis ba sa ng panyo, or whatever. Then Peter said, it's, it's a declaration. Aeneas, binanggit yung pangalan, Jesus Christ maketh the whole. Okay, inutusan na that. Arise, make thy bed, and he arose immediately. Right there and then, makikita natin, miracle happened. Okay, now, look. Okay. Uh, sa Tagalog, nakita nyo, pagda kayo nagtindig siya. Okay? Uh, maganda to. Uh, tignan natin sa Tagalog. Sinabi sa kanya ni Pedro, Inayas, pinagagaling ka ni Yesu Cristo. Binagdit lang yun. Magtindig ka, kusayin mo ang iyong higaan at pagda kayo, agad-agad, sabi nga, nagtindig na siya. No, uh, walang ano, walang, walang extra movement aside from just declaring na pinagaling ka na ng Panginoon. Okay, so this is a different manifestation of God's miracle. Just a mere uh, saying ng pangalan ng Lord. Wow, grabe ito, no? Uh, just mere mention of God's name. Grabe. Inayas, pinagaling ka na ni Jesus Christo. There! Ag Bumaling na. Grabe ito. Wow, wonderful. Now, Paris Peter, if you happen to look at it, is very simple. Okay, simple, simple. Now, uh, going back, di ba sabi niya, sinabi ni Pedro, Inayas, pinagagaling ka ni Yesu Cristo. So, English, Peter said unto him, Inayas, Jesus Christ, make it the whole. Ganun lang kasimple. Napakasimple ng panilangin niya. And if you happen to look at it, simple and direct. Okay, wala nang paligoy-ligoy. Hindi nga sinabi, Inayas, alam mo ba na ang Panginoong Yesu Cristo, napako sa krus ng Kalbaryo, etc. Et wala, direct. Okay, sabi niya, pinagaling ka rin ng Panginoon. And, Truthful. Bakit? Pagkatapos sabihin na Pedro, ano sabi lang? Pagda kayo nagtindig siya at magaling na. Okay? So, if you look at uh, Peter's prayer, it was simple. Okay? That's number one. The prayer of, of Peter was simple. The prayer of Peter was direct. And the prayer of Peter was truthful. Totoo kasi, pagbanggit, anong nangyari agad? Okay. Okay, now, 
He said to Inayas, diba? Arose. He arose immediately. Yan. Now, sa verse 35, now, look at verse 35. Okay. Ano sabi sa verse 35? And all, now, look at that, that dwell at Lida and Saron, so him, okay, and turn to the Lord. Wow. Kasi nung gumaling, uh, lahat ng mga nandoong nakatira, nakita yung gumaling. And all of them turn to the Lord. Siya yung nakita ng lahat, sabi dyan, at ng, ng mga nananahan, nanganahan sa Lida at sa Sarona, at sila yung nangagbalik loob sa Panginoon. Can you imagine all? Not few, not some, but all that dwell at Lida and Sarona so him and turn to the Lord. Now, fourth point, pang-apat na puntos na kaila, na nais ko mapansin natin dito is this. Evangelism is an added result of miracle. Okay, number four point. Evangelism is an added result of miracle. Walang, okay, miracle na walang evangelism. Walang miracle na walang, walang nasisig. Impossible talaga because people are always, uh, you know, amazed, okay, with uh, the result of miracle. And, of course, the result of miracle is always evangelism, the saving of souls. Now, miracle like this, and I want you to listen to this very carefully, miracle like this could be repeated during our follow-up and visitation. I'm going to repeat that. Miracle like this could be repeated during our follow-up and visitation. This can happen again. Okay? This can happen again. There might be somebody out there na may sakit. And you cannot tell na ikaw ang gagalitin ng Panginoon. All you, have to do, all you have to do is just like Peter. Okay? Kailangan mo lang maging Pedro. Okay? Hindi, hindi yung... You know, you dress like Peter and everything. No, the faith of Peter. Okay? Yun kailangan mo lang bit-bitin. Okay? Yun ang kailangan mo. When we do follow up and visitation. Why? Because this thing can still happen. I remember when we were young, sabi nga, lagi na, uh, meron kami kinakanta nun sa choir, miracles still happen. Okay? We were singing that miracles still happen. Not many people are singing miracles still happen now. Because, Probably because of technology. Now, pag masakit ang ngipin mo, you can just go to the drugstore in a few minutes or seconds, wala na yung sakit ng ngipin mo. Unlike those, uh, during those days, na uh, marami talaga, they are so dependent with, you know, with the miracle of the Lord. But, I tell you honestly, hindi lahat ng sakit kayang gamutin ng gamot. Hindi. Marami pa rin, mga kapatid, Marami pa rin karamdaman na ang makakapagpagaling lang sa kanila ang Panginoong Jesus. And the only way para mangyari yung miracle na ito is we, if we go. Okay. Tayo pupunta. When we do follow up and visitation, miracle like this could be repeated. Are you saying that it could happen? It could happen. Even you saying, it could happen. Yes. When we pray for those who are sick, we can be an instrument of God's miracle just like Peter. Ang kailangan mo lang mag-pray. You do follow up and visitation and then pray. Okay? Honestly, hindi naman talaga yung nagpapagaling. If you look at it, okay, hindi naman si Pedro ang nagpagaling eh. Okay, hindi si Pedro. Yung mere mention of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? No mention of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of a man of God. No, you should be. I mean, you should be a believer of the Lord to say that. Kasi, pag hindi ka naman believer ni Lord, hindi naman mangyayari. Ang kahit sampung beses mo, 100 beses mo sabihin in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, eh, hindi talaga mangyayari. But if you are a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, just no mention of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, well, miracle happen. Okay. Now, you can be an instrument of God's miracle just like Peter. I repeat it. You can be an instrument of God's miracle just like Peter. Even during, during pandemic, 
Absolutely. Okay. Now, all you have to do is just pray, believe, and testify about it. I remember uh, just a short testimony. I remember meron kaming kapatiran dito sa Kulilan. Kapangalan din ni Beverly Dennis. Katungayo mo sa Beverly Dennis. Ano siya? Welder siya sa isang kumpanya. The whole day, nag-welding. Nag whole day, nag-welding. Pauwi na, walang kamalay-malay, biglang bumuhos ang malakas na ulan. As in, buhos talaga malakas na ulan. Of course, look, ah, can you imagine, the whole day, nag-welding ka, all of a sudden, magbabasa ka ng ulan. Ano ang, ano ang kahihinatnan mo? Sakit. And that's exactly what happened to uh, yung kapatiran natin sa Pulilan. Bagay Dennis din ang pangalan. Okay. At that time, Wednesday, Bible study rin. Eh, ewan ko mga kapatid, uh, kahit na may sakit, <laughs> nasa kama kasi online naman eh. Pwede naman siya makinig kahit nasa kama, kahit nakakumot. No? Ah, uh, nakakumot, nakaganoon, tawas, nakikinig. Uh, all of a sudden, parang inimpress ako ng Lord. Sabi ng Lord sa akin, pray. Sabi ng Lord sa akin. So we prayed. Pray kami. Kasi talagang nagchichil. Eh, nabasa ba naman ka from, from eight hours na nag-welding and then nabasa ng ulan. Uh, nilagnat, inubo. Right there and then. And you know what happened? Okay. Nag-pray kami. Uh, Bible study yan. Nag-pray kami. Sinabi ng Lord sa akin, in-impress ako ng Lord na mag-pray. Instead of mag-Bible study kami, ang ginawa namin, okay, uh, nag-pray and then nag-worship nila kami, nag-worship, worship, worship, worship. Siguro after uh, a few minutes, nag-worship and then narinig ko sila, nag-speak in tongues na. Uh, after namin nun, kita ko basang-basa na yung mukha. Parang naligo. As in, parang naligo. As in, ligo talaga, ligo. Kasi kita mo, basang-basa eh. Yung buhok, mukha, uh, yung bakat ng, ano, ng kumot na ginanon. As in, talagang tumutulong ganun. And you know what happened? After we prayed and we praised the Lord, instantly nawala yung lagnat, nawala yung ubo. Can you imagine? Wala pa yan yung, hindi pa ito katulad ni Pedro na nandoon. Wow. Now, pwede mo sabihin, ano yan, Pastor Luis, virtual prayer? <laughs> pwede mo sabihin, kasi wala ka dun eh. But, nonetheless, now, ano ba ang puntong gusto sabihin ng Lord? If you can only believe, di ba sabi ng Bible eh, all things are possible to them that believe. Whether it be virtual or it's online, wala kang opportunity to be around physically, well, Miracles still happen. What happened? This miracle that happened to Elias, being being uh, healed from palsy, can still be repeated. And even greater miracles can still happen if all of us can just believe what the Lord can do through us. Okay? Hindi hindi animal ang tuturuan ng Lord para do a visitation and follow up and pray for people. It's people. Doing a follow up and praying for people. It's you and I. It's us. Okay. Sabihin mo, ako yun. Tayo yun. Tayo yun. Tayo yun. Okay. Huwag mong ituro yung yung daliri mo sa ba. Sila yun, kasi sila pastor sila, minister sila. Don't. Okay. So. Kasi, if I still recall it right, when when I was very young in the faith, I think around, uh, that was mid-80s, if I'm not mistaken, very young in the faith, so YMCA, meron isang testimony that happened in America na meron isang uh, asawa ng missionary na Nagkaroon ng cancer. Alam niyo ang nag-pray? Anak na bata. Babae. Nakita yung nanay niya kasi nagtatanong daw yung nanay niya. Sabi niya, Lord, bakit ako nagkaroon ng cancer? Di ba? Missionary kami, etc. etc. Dumapit, bu bu pumasok yung anak na babae. 
Apa sabi niya? Mama, uh, can I pray for you? If I say recall it right, yung testimony. Dito na compose, if I'm not mistaken, dito na compose yung kanta na Someone is praying for you. Remember someone. Lalo walk yan eh. He's praying for you. So when it seems you're all alone and your heart would break into Remember someone is praying for you. Doon yun. You know what happened? Little girl prayed for the mother. I prayed for the mother. You know what happened? Healed from cancer. Ang prayer does not regard sex. Uh, babae ka ba, lalaki? Does not even regard age. Bata ka ba, matanda? Ano ba ang tinitignan ng Lord dito? It's our faith. Regardless of your age, you can be used by the Lord. I can tell you honestly. Okay. Hindi lamang minister. Okay. I'm telling this is straight. Hindi lamang minister ang kayang gamitin ng Lord to perform miracles. No matter how simple you look, no matter how small you, you see yourself, if you can only believe that the Lord can use you, you can be used. Okay. Hey, wala sa height yun, Tim. Wala sa height. Ah, kailangan six footer. Wala sa height yun. Eh, ang liit mo, 5'11 ka lang, o 4'11. Physically. Pero yung height mo pala, spiritually, 6 footer ka. 7 footer. Amen. Can you imagine what the Lord can do through you? That's how it is. Now, all you have to do is just be willing to be used by the Lord, just like Peter. And this miracle can still happen today. Everybody say Amen. 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 Okay, I remember one song nung uh, nung hindi pa pandemic Uh, naging paborito ko to eh. Hindi ko alam kung matatandaan pa ninyo to. Sabi nung song, I know I can do all things. I can do all things to Christ. At tatandaan pa ninyo eh. With the power of God and the word of life. I can do all things. I can do all things to Christ. Now, you have to believe it. You can do all things through Christ. With the power of God and the word of life, you can do all things through Christ. Allow me to pray right now. Uh, please bow your heads and let's pray. Lord Jesus, uh, this may be a very simple message and lesson that we learn. Nevertheless, I know that you can speak to your people through this, O oh Lord. I pray that you reveal something like you did to Apostle Peter. The opportunity to be used, Lord God, is still, still very big to all of us, Father. Regardless of how young and how old we are, we can all be used by you, Father, if we be willing to be used by, if, you, if we be willing, Father God, to be used by you. And Lord, tonight, as I come to the conclusion of this lesson, may your words soak in our hearts and our minds and these words, Father God, hallelujah, strengthen the faith that we have, believing, Lord, that you can use, Lord God, all of us, hallelujah, even in a very dynamic way, to perform miracles and wonders, hallelujah, hallelujah, Father. Bless us now, as we come to the conclusion of this Bible study, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, amen, and amen, and amen. Of 18. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lolo, <laughs> batang. Okay. Hi, Sister Sam. Okay. Ate Tin, where's Pastor? Amen. So, salamat si Pastor. Pastor Tony, out of reach. 
Yun. Uh, actually, ang uh, ating conclusion po ay si Pastor Tony. Ay lang, di ko lang kung ano, tin, anong anong stats na ni Pastor Tony? Hindi nag-reply. Yuri, andyan ba? Pa- follow up naman pa. Para ano. Okay, sige. Agayin natin natin si Pastor. Well, just a little review. Okay, just a little review. Ano yung first point that we that we learned tonight? Ano yung first point? The church first point? rested. The church rested from persecution. from persecution. Okay, very good. Okay, next point. Second point that we learned. The ministry of salvation. Ah, visitation. Okay. The ministry of follow-up and visitation. Dito... Pinakita ng Lord yung minister of follow-up and visitation. Okay. Second point. Third point. Ano yung third point that we learned tonight? Miracle prayer. Miracle prayer. Companies. Companies. Okay. Miracle. Okay. Miracle accompanies care worker. So yung miracle ay sumusunod o sumasama doon sa mga care workers. Yan ang ibig sabihin niya. Miracle Company Care Workers. Okay? Okay. Uh, point number four. Point, point, point number four. Declaration of Miracle Healing. Four pala ito. <laughs> Masasunat ito. Simplified. Ito. Yeah. Uh, simplified. Sinimplify ko kasi. Okay. Fourth uh, point is evangelism is an added result of Miracle. Okay, so uh, kaya nyo bang paniwalaan na kayo, kaya kayong gamitin ng Lord? Amen. Amen. Ang iba yung Amen. <laughs> Parang sinasabi, Amen. Sila na lang. Mahirap yan. Uh, you'll be surprised how the Lord will use you if you be willing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Welcome, Hattie Jen. Okay, so. Okay, do you have any, anything to say? The students. May mga, may mga gusto po ba kayong itanong kay Pastor Luis about sa lesson natin? Welcome, Sister Malu. Ako ba? Ano yung shield of palsy? Anyone po, bago po aalis si Pastor Luis, kasi meron din po siyang Bible study sa kabila, sa church po nila. Anyone, students? Ano, wala na? Nagkakahiya. <laughs> Actually, maganda yung lesson ni Pastor Stop. Luis. Yes. Medyo nabibigyan lang ako kasi mabilis yung yung ano ni Pastor Deliver. Pero nakaka-excite pa tayo. Alam mo yun? Hindi ka. Uh, may tatanong ako. Uh, kung ako magkaroon ng opportunity na another, I mean, another schedule, uh, I'm thinking kasi gumagawa ko ng PowerPoint. Eh. Wow. Hindi ko lang may pakita sa inyo. Pwedeng ma-share sa ano. Uh, kaya, kaya sana kung magkaroon, hindi ko alam kung paano ko gagawin yan, na instead na yung mukha ko ang nakikita ninyo, yung lesson ang nakikita ninyo. Pwedeng share uh, screen po. I-send nyo po sa, pwede pong i-send nyo sa akin ahead of time, tapos i-share screen ko na lang. Ah, uh, okay, good, good. Okay, sige, next time, next time I'll next do that. Next time po. Opo. Okay, next Thank time. Thank you, Pastor Luis. Para sa ganun, yeah, para sa ganun, yung sinasabi ko, eh, nandiyan na makikita na ninyo sa screen. Maybe you can do that next time. That's, that's very good. That's very good. Uh, kasi this is exactly what I'm doing every time I do a Bible study. Pastor Luis, dahil wala pong yeah. naglakas loob na magtanong, kayo ano? po, meron po pa kayong gustong itanong sa amin. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, ako, ako, meron ako gustong itanong. <laughs> Sino ba mga estudyante? Kasi gusto ko random eh. Tatawagin ko sana. I mean, have... Okay, sige. Bigyan mo ko ng pangalan. Brother, Brother Dennis Brother Sakoba. De- Brother Jake. Sister Brother Jake. Sakoba. Brother Jake. 
uh, Brother Yuri, Jaira. Sister Jaira King. Sister ah, Jem. Sister Jaira King. Okay. Ah. Sige, Sister Jaira. Jaira. Ano to, ha? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng Jaira? Di ba? Sister Jaira King. Sister Jaira King. Sister Jaira Hindi ba obsolete na ang prayer? Hindi na uso to eh, di ba? Para po sa akin, usong uso. <laughs> Pero po sa iba po, syempre po, hindi po kasi, ano po, um, kaya naman po nila, parang, mas gusto po nila na mag-go on their way po. Mm -hmm. So, to us believers, it's never obsolete. That's that's a very good ano, that's a very good stand. Kasi alam nyo, kahit believers na ngayon, mas madali pang puntahan ang doktor kaysa sa Lord. Yeah, I mean, every time na ano, uh, mas mas believe sa doktor kaysa sa Lord. Uh, well, of course, siguro uh, because of the advancement ng technology, uh, medicine, probably. Now, hindi ko naman sinasabing masama ang medicine. No, I'm not saying that. Definitely, malaking tulong din. But, what I'm saying is that if you have more faith on the uh, nagagawa ng medicine than on that, uh, that's another thing. Uh, that's another thing. Kayo ba? Okay, uh, give me another name. Uh, Sister Jaira, give me a name. Um, si Ate Jem po. Jem, okay, Jem. Okay. <laughs> Buwang sagutin, then late ako. Anyway, sige, papas. Ah, late, late. Okay, sige, sige. Okay lang po. Nakikinig po okay ako. Lang? Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, during pandemic, is it possible to have rest? To? To have rest. A breast. Rest, rest. R-E-S-T. Rest. R-E-S-T. S-T. R-E-S-T. Ah, during pandemic, to rest. Anong, ano specific na rest, Pastor? Yung rest sa, as in, pahinga na. Sige, ikaw, bahala ka. Anong gusto mo tungkol sa rest? Ah, general siya. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> hmm. For me, ano, Pastor, kung pag-uusapan na, kung mag specific ako sa prayer, eh, yung rest doon, iba, dapat parang for me, mas lalo tayong mag maging mas masipag manalangin sa panahon ng pandemic. Kasi yun yung mas kailangan natin at saka ma-experience natin yung miracle. Yun yung para sa akin, Pastor. Kung specific ka, yun yung rest. Okay. Okay, give me a name. Jem. Uh, Ataka po, tignan ko po. Sino ba nandito? Wait lang po ah. Tananananan. Mm, Ate Babes. Ate Babes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Ate Babes, yeah. Ate Babes, are you at rest? Po. Oh. Are you at rest? Uh, while I'm sitting, I'm going to rest. Kasi mahaba po ako nakatayo eh. Kaya rest ko po ngayon. Now, uh, seriously, when it comes to spiritual things, should, you, should, should we be? Uh, because of pandemic? Opo, Pastor. Kasi, siyempre, bago mag-pandemic po, di ba? Talagang, uh, hindi ganun spiritually. Pero, thank God kasi, bagamat sa kabuan po, uh, hindi nakabuti yung pandemic. Pero sa ating mga mananampalataya, especially po sa akin, uh, nagkaroon po ko ng pagkakataon na makapagpahinga sa Panginoon, Magkaroon uh -huh. sa kanya ng panahon. Yung mga bagay na hindi ko nagagawa before, eh, during pandemic, eh, nagkaroon ako ng privilege talaga na kung saan blessing sa akin. Kasi marami akong bagay na na-miss. 
na yung kapahingan ko sa Lord. Kaya talagang thankful ako sa Lord. So, dapat wag nang matapos ang pandemic, yun ba? Huwag <laughs> <laughs> naman. Sana matapos na to. Yeah. Well, ta- meron ding nagawang, I would say, nakatulong din in a way. Uh, spiritual, yeah, spiritual side, yung pandemic, kasi na-challenge tayo to do things. We, we uh, para bang we went beyond our boundaries like that. Yung mga hindi natin nagagawa long time before, bigla nating nagawa. Uh, thinking na hindi natin kaya ng ganawa ba sa atin, kaya pala. Uh, we are not only surviving, I would say, we are not surviving in this pandemic, but we are thriving. We are not surviving, but we are thriving. Thriving in the sense that we are getting better. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, of course, iba pa rin talaga when we are present no? in one place, we do worship, we do dance, we do jumping, we do, uh, we, we do all these th- things. No? And then, we experience the presence of God and we speak in tongues. But to be honest, you can still experience the same thing, even right at the comfort of your home. Amen. Oh, imagine you are in church and your home is the extension of the church. If ever you can go to, if you cannot go to church, think about it. It can. Kasi, uh, bakit ko sinasabi yan? See, well, it's possible, eh? It's possible. I tell you honestly. Don't, uh, don't think like you're just watching television. Parang nandong ka lang. Imagine yourself to be parang <laughs> ganun. And you will feel the presence of the Lord. Remember, the Lord is everywhere. Okay. Uh, uh, Babes! Give me a name. Wala pa si Pastor? Nandiyan na po. Hi, Pastor Tony. Ah, nandiyan. Ah, nandiyan na? Okay, okay. Okay, just one last. Uh, isang pangalan nilang, Babes. Give me a name, Babes. Just one last name. Bago kayo bigay kayo. Ako ha? Sorry? Uh, yeah, bigay mo ako ng isang pangalan. Hi, tita. Hi, tita Malu. Ah, Sister Malu. Yan, Sister Malu. Ano ang, ano ang maganda kapag ka walang persecution? Hello, Malu. At ano naman ang maganda kapag ka may persecution? Narinig ba ako ni Sister Malu? Hi, Mami Malu. Unmute niyo po. Ninang nakamute po kayo. Ayan. Ayan. Pwede na po kong salita. Go, Tita Malu. Oh. Ah? Huh? Uh, Mars, ano yung benefit ng walang persecution, tsaka na naman yung benefit ng may persecution? Ano daw? Hindi ko maintindihan. Ay, hindi maintindihan? Oh, eh, ano mo nga, Tim? Tulungan mo nga ako. Baka nag-chachapi ako rito. Mahina dito sa office. Hi, Mami Malu. Malakas ba yung dating ko sa'yo? Magsalamin ka po daw, sabi ni Kuya Dennis. <laughs> ano po yun? Ano po daw yung benefit ng may persecution sa walang persecution? Ano ang benefit ng persecution? Ano naman yung benefit ng walang persecution? Benefit na may persecution at sa benefit, benefit ng walang persecution. Ng walang persecution. Persecution. Uh, para sa akin. O sa tu- hmm. kasi, o, tinuro niyo po ba yun, Pastor Luis? 
Wala, wala. Kasi ito, wala siya. Ay, po siya. Sa para sa akin, yung may persecution, uh, diyan ka titibay o mas lalo kang lalago. Kasi kung i-accept mo yung persecution, ah, uh, Nasabi kong titibay ka kasi lalo ka nga hawak sa Panginoon. Yung hindi mo siya iaano na, yung iaano mo yung sarili mo, iaano mo siya na bilang challenge. Yung kaya, kaya ako nasabing lalakas ka kasi talagang kakapit ka sa Panginoon sa mga persecution na nararamdaman mo. Kaya ang benefit para sa akin, lalo kang lalakas kasi lalo kang kakapit sa Panginoon. Uh, ang benefit naman ng persecution. Uh, so, walang persecution. Ano naman yung benefit walang ng walang persecution? Masaya. Walang persecution eh. <laughs> <laughs> Masaya. <laughs> Hindi. Uh, Siyempre, kahit wala kang persecution, keep going on pa rin, di ba? Uh, patuloy lang sa Panginoon. Kasi... Uh, yun ang buhay natin eh. Uh, ang patuloy sa Panginoon. So, ang benefit. Basta, hindi ko alam eh. Patuloy lang sa Lord. Kapit lang din. <laughs> okay, sige. Para sa akin naman, kapag persecution, unlimited opportunities. Can you imagine? Walang anything you think para sa Lord, mag- pwede. Anything you dream para sa Lord, it happen it 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 could happen kasi walang pumahad lang eh so maganda rin kasi just like what happened walang they, the, the church rested from persecution and look what happened they multiplied uh, greatly because hindi ko sinasabing uh, well sa case kasi nito eh iba eh no so i would say na unlimited opportunity kapag uh, so let's let's take advantage of that wala tayo sa Like yung Pakistan, uh, meron akong naging friend na Pakistani uh, doon, pastor siya sa Pakistan. Can you imagine? Ano lang, uh, parang nasa isang boundary lang sila pwede mag-evangelize. They cannot go out of that. Otherwise, they'd be killed. Oh, ganun. So, yung opportunity para sa kanila is just within that area. Okay? Kasi Muslim ano eh, majority Muslim eh. Pero look, uh, kaya nga sabi na niya, you know, sabi niya sa akin eh, uh, you are so blessed in the sense that you can do anything you, you, you can think of uh, para sa Lord. So, kung itong pagbabasihan natin, uh, sa aking opinion, they had unlimited opportunities to grow. Kaya siguro sila nag-grow ng ganito. Yan. Okay, so I'm giving this time to pastor para doon sa conclusion. Thank you, Pastor Luis. Man, praise the Lord. Hi, Pastor. Tony. Yuri, pwede niyo bang... Ayun. Hi, Pastor. Si Pastor, naka-mute. Paan-mute po. Ay, baka mag-phone na lang siya. Naka-mute siya. Naka-mute. Wait. Ayun na. Hi, Pastor. Hi. Kayo na po. Uh, ano, ano daw tatanungin ko? <laughs> Conclusion ng pastor. Tapos na po si Pastor Luis. Ah. Uh, 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 Conclusion natin. Uh, kasi itong ating pinag-aaralan, History to eh, history. Tinatanong ni Pastor Luis yung benefit. Uh, itong lahat ng ito, 
Nasa kalendaryo ng Lord. Nasa kalendaryo ng Lord. Now, ang persecution, hindi naman forever eh. Uh, dumadating yan sa ano kasi all throughout the dispensation of the church mula, mula Pentecost hanggang rapture sabi nga naman kasi ni Apostle Paul with much tribulation we will enter into the kingdom of God with much tribulation na uh, tayo wala tayo sa inquisition ang inquisition yung yung tinotorture yung mga mga Christians uh, Romans Roman Catholic uh, na uh, kasaysayan yan kasaysayan kasaysayan hindi naman pinaplano ang kasaysayan na ganitong gagawin dumating uh, iba iba nag alter minsan pag slow down, tayo kasi sa benefit o ngayon pandemic, walang persecution. Pero tatandaan natin na the enemy, the devil, ang kanyang purpose ay to, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Uh, all throughout yan from from the establishment or the foundation of the church hanggang hanggang rapture hindi magbabago yung purpose ni Satanas to steal to kill to destroy now yung yung level na lang of ano yung level of uh, of uh, persecution or tribulation. Minsan, ang tribulation, sariling gawa. Uh, ang sin, ang sin, nagdudulot ng tribulation yan sa family. Ngayon, sa panahon natin, ang 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 issue, NPA. Uh, NPA. So, makikita natin, ma- Magulo na, nagiging magulo na kasi ma dagat ginalaw na nila yung ano eh, yung NPA. And uh, 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 kaya nag-i-exist. Kaya nag-i-exist dahil magugulat na lang tayo. It's well supported. Well financed. Uh, nakasama sa sa budget ng Congress kasama ngayon na na inahalo kay na lahat yan and ang 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 church magkakaroon na ng takot ang society magkakaroon na ng takot kasi naalarma na ang ano eh naalarma na ang mga kadre mga mga taga bundok na konti lang sila kaya lang pwede siyang lumikha ng ano uh, yung, yung persecution wala na sa church ngayon muna tahimik ang church sa Amerika election ang kakagulo-gulo na sila doon between uh, between the democrats Uh, mga, mga, uh, dito sa mundo kahit walang persecution mawi, masisway yung pananampalataya pagka mahina kaya si sister si sister Jem naman tungkol sa rest hindi natin pwedeng ano eh, hindi natin pwedeng hindi tayo pwedeng kampanti sa rest eh. Uh, kasi kahit yung rest, pwedeng mag-cause ng, ng, ano natin, ng decline sa pananampalataya. Uh, resting, pwedeng mag, pwedeng 
pwede naman tayo mag-backslide. Marami naman nagbabackslide sa sa period of resting eh. Oh, kaya nga yung sagot ni sagot ni Jim is magdating sa prayer walang resting. <laughs> There should always kailan tuloy-tuloy. Yung mga stop-stop lahat naman merong stop eh. Merong pause. Hinto. May reason naman ang paghinto eh. You have to rest. Hindi naman puro work. Uh, there should be rest. Kailangan maganda. Pero patuloy na magpapahinga, uh, wala na yan. Uh, uh, re to rest is also a temptation. Kampanti ka na. O para ka nang para ka nang uh, palaka sa loob ng kaldero na kampanting kampanti hindi niya alam na niluluto ay pala siya hanggang sa kumulo yung tubig maluto siya so ang atin lang dito awareness and consciousness i believe the church kasi inyas si inyas diyan si inyas diyan may sakit ang hindi natin maano ma Masabi ko, 8 years siyang 8 years siyang may sakit, sakit or or 8 years old pa siya may sakit. Nawa uh, ang ang kailangan talaga yung awareness and consciousness. Magsak pa rin tayo doon. Now we have to be conscious. Yung mga By, by this time yang yang ano yang ating pinag-aralan marami nang nag-backslide diyan ang binibigyan kasi ng historic record ay yung yung aktibong gumagalaw and they multiplied but we should not believe na wala nang backslide diyan o wala nang hina wala nang dupaypay meron ano lang uh, yung yung, yung ano lang, kung gaano karami, gaano ka konti. Uh, ang binibigay lang ng record dyan sa Bible, sa Acts chapter 9, is continuity, uh, consistency of their belief. At uh, hindi na matatanggal ang prayer dyan kasi wala, magiging, wala strength ang church without prayer eh. And, uh, church will not be a church without prayer. Kasi ang pinaka-foundation strength ng church ay prayer. May continual contact ng tao sa, sa Diyos. Pero yung, yung tulot ng Lord yung per persecution, uh, hindi na natin yan ma-question. Uh, hindi natin alam. Baka next day may Civil war na dito sa Pilipinas. We do not know. Hanggang panunood lang tayo ng YouTube. Pero kung panunoorin ninyo ang YouTube, yung, ka, yung kadre na dati nasa bundok tapos bumaba, yung kanilang, yung kanilang regrets mat, matindi. Kung noon galit nila sa gobyerno, ngayon, galit na nila sa kanilang mga dating mga kasamaan. It, because imagine, uh, nagkadre sila, tapos yung pala, i-re-rapin lang ng mga pala sila, re-rapin sila, tapos gagawa sila ng hindi maganda. Yung mind. Ngayon, paano kung may sumama pa doon mga member ng church? Ayan si Pastor Luis. Aktivista yan eh. Eh saan ba papunta yung mga aktivista? O. Oh. Kaya, kaya lang nagbago. Nag, uh, nagbago isip. Salamat tayo sa Panginoon na yung mga kadre-kadre na yan. Ako hindi ko naabot yan. Yung sa kalsada kasi wala namang ano yan eh. Pagsanib sa hindi namang kumbatat yan. Hindi baril. All of these things are happening. Now, uh, tayo malayo tayo sa ano eh. Kasi wala namang MPA sa kapitbahay natin. Wala namang ano. But who knows? 
Uno, somebody there. Nandiyan para sa likod ni Tina yung yung MPA. Uh, tapos, uh, we, we do not know. Kaya, kung ating susumahin nito, oh, ay si Pastor Luis, pwede lumaban yan sa kontra, kontra, ano, aktivista o kontra, ano, kasi meron, meron, meron karanasan at, at nasa ministry na ngayon. Now, ang, the bottom line is awareness and consciousness. And para ma, ma ano natin to, ma, magpatuloy, it's our uh, responsibility and our accountability. Yun, eh, kasi kung hindi wala sa isip natin yung ating responsibility and ating accountability, anong usefulness, ano ang anong pakinabang na pagiging aware at saka pagiging uh, conscious. Wala eh, may kailangan may mechanism, may magpapagalaw nito. Oh, uh, very very broad. We can we can we can we can sit down together and we can open the discussion and tuloy-tuloy ng salita yan. Yan, yan nga ang nagpa kaya nga madadaldal tong mga Kristiyano kasi ang dami-daming pwedeng pag-usapan eh. Ah, uh, pero dito sa maliit na part historic ano, uh, bakit um, pwede natin tanungin dyan, uh, bakit sa dami, dinami-daming mga nangyari, itong kay Enias ang uh, nasama sa record. Because aside from what happened to Enias, Simultaneously, may nangyayari din sa ibang Kristiyano. Uh, samantalang samantalang nire-record yung pangyayari kay Enias, kay Peter, eh may nangyayari din sa iba. Simultaneous, hindi lang hindi lang sinusundan yung isang tao eh. Now, nilagay yan sa record as part ng kasaysayan na ang Panginoon gumagawa ng Himala. Uh, we go down kasi yan ang subject natin eh. Kaya tayo nag-aral ng uh, fourth series uh, noon ang gawa ni Kristo. Ngayon iba na uh, uh, three series, 38 lessons yung mga Himala na ginawa ni Jesus. On the fourth series, ang ginawa, ang himala na ginawa ni Jesus true sa pamagitan ng and ayaw ko kung napansin niyo. Meron yata dyan. It's, it's there. Yung sinabi ni Peter and yes, the Lord Jesus Christ healed you. Ako, doon ako na amaze eh. Doon ako na amaze. Uh, ako, iniisip ko in 43 years of my serving God, yung bang, yung bang, pagpunta mo sa may sakit eh, sasabihin mo lang, the Lord Jesus healed you. Tayo ka na dyan. Sige na. Uh, doon ako na amaze eh. Yung, yung, uh, yung, yung part na yun. Kasi ang, ang common, pupunta ka, may sakit, mag-pray ka. Ito eh, hindi eh. Eight years siya. Tapos si Peter, pumunta dun. Eh, yes, eh, ako, kinalabit. O oh, ano. Uh, the Lord Jesus healed you. Of all, sa basahin natin yung yung ano yung uh, entirety in kabuuan ng New Testament o doon lang sa Book of Acts wala eh As sinabi ni Pedro in defense of the one who healed the lame man is the one whom you killed uh, Jesus of Nazareth mga ganyan pero dito kay, kay Inyas I think 
one of the reasons why this was recorded because of this statement in kapit sa isip natin na ang galing ang galing pupunta ka doon sa lugar namit mo si Enyas mayroon ang tos Enyas the Lord Jesus Christ healed you bangon ah Matagal ka nang nagre-rest dyan sa paralysis mo. You have long been resting. Jesus Christ healed you. Another point that, I, I, that make me think is yung preeminence of Jesus Christ. Na bagamat matagal na siyang patay, yung all, almightiness niya Yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ, all, all power in heaven and in earth is given unto me. Yan ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, Matthew 28, 18. Therefore, I say, go. Now yung, yung almightiness niya. Go. And I will be with you up to the rapture. Ay, ganun yan eh, Matthew 28, 19. And lo, I will be with you even ano uh, even to the end of the world. So hanggang rapture. Hang, hanggang rapture, yung, yung period. Oh, oh. Yung period time. So, yun lang masabi ko. Ah, uh, Kasi, hindi mo alam kung saan ka mag-conclude dyan. Eh. Pero yung title natin, ang first title niyan, Ananias Hill. Dito, anong title natin dito? Ako, kalimutan ko na. Anong title natin dito, Tin? Uh, Enyas. Yes. Healed by palsy. Healed by palsy. palsy. Kasi, first title niya is uh, Enya's Healed. So ngayon, uh, uh, directed, is directed to palsy. So, uh, marami. Pwedeng gawin, gamitin preaching to eh. Dalawang versikulo lang yan. Uh, the long verse lang nakadedicate dyan kay Enyas at uh, narinig ko to ni Pastor Luis and people converts were multiplied nagmultiply yung mga believers uh, kasi uh, conversion follow uh, miracles uh, sinabi sa look yung ending ng look and the and, and the preaching and uh, uh, confirming the word with miracles. The word of God, the word of God. So it's pointing to the gospel. To literally, to literally, the gospel. So kino confirm ng Lord yung yung gospel so magitan ng mga miracle. So Enyas healed of palsy. Uh, ito ay naging resulta ng ano gospel kasi gospel is good news gospel is not only preaching good news uh, signs wonders are the product of preaching the gospel so tinuturo diyan na kahit wala ng persecution tuloy-tuloy tuloy-tuloy and bubusugin tayo ng uh, series ano itong uh, Fourth series natin, bumusugin tayo ng ano dyan, mga miracles, signs, and wonders. And siguro naman, kahit may sakit tayo, hindi na magiging imposible sa atin, sa utak natin. Kasi kargado na tayo ng kaalaman eh, tungkol sa healing. So, sa either you get healed, and through your instrumentality, somebody get healed, uh, ayun yan. Ang um, report series na, lang, na, na natin ngayon will only let us know that God 
God doesn't only use Jesus or Jesus doesn't only perform miracles by himself. He performed miracles through the instrumentality of others. At huwag mong kalimutan na si Enyas, the way I look at the scriptures, Enyas was not an unbeliever. Enyas was also part of the the church. Uh, so, nagsasabi niya na merong members ng church na are also sick. And for what good reason, pinainturot ng Lord na yung mga mga church, siguro sa kababayaan or whatever, na ang daming sagot yan eh. Na God, eh, sickness is not subject to the unbelievers. That it is subject to everybody including the believers who perhaps have been careless. Now, so ang atin lang dyan, let us be aware, let us be conscious. And our awareness and consciousness, we have to do our responsibility and we have to remember we are accountable. Our very existence makes us accountable to the God who entrusted to us life. So, yun ang uh, gusto ko idagdag sa inyo. Now, uh, thank you for attending. All of us will be very happy. Ang akin dagdag-dagdag lang yun dito kasi eh, Pastor Luis nagtanong anong benefit ng anong benefit kung wala lang persecution? We can talk about a lot of ano, subtitles. No? Kasi sasangat-sanga yan. Eh. Tapos si Jim, tanungin mo, eh, siya naman ang nasa prayer. Eh, di, ano naman ang bu- magbubunga nga yan. Puro prayer naman ang sasabihin yan. Kaya, <laughs> kausapin mo si Tina. Pasalitay mo si Tina ngayon. Malalaman mo laman ang utak niyan sa laman ng puso niyan. <laughs> na, Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord kasi tuloy-tuloy tayo. Pandemic will not stop us. Amen. Pande- pandemic will only move us forward. Uh, uh, Amen. Lalo tayong abandi. Pandemic na nga eh. Oh. Kaya, Amen. Praise Amen. 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 Oh, pero wag lang kayong manood. Amen. Wag lang kayong manood. Kailangan gumalaw kayo. Ang ating attendance, ang ating trabahuin. Praise God. Everybody say amen. Amen. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Meron pa tayong offering. Uh, amen. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hallelujah. So thank you so much. Uh, uh, ang inyong lingkod, bayan, uh, uh, Pastor Tony. Maraming pong salamat. Passing, passing prayer, Papa Scott. Hallelujah. Dakilang Panginoon, maraming pong salamat sa pagkakataon na binigay mo sa amin. Dakila ka, O Lord God. Bakit mo kami binuhay ay isang isang katanungan na kung aming isipin merong malaking katugunan. Salamat, O Lord God, kami binuhay mo pa. At uh, hindi kami nagsasawag kumain araw-araw, almusal, tangalian at tapunan. At siguro, Panginoon, hindi rin kami magsawa sa pag- pagkikinig ng iyong salita. Dahil ang palataya ay kaya kailangan-kailangan. Hallelujah. Sa aming paglilipin. Yes. Lord Jesus, sana hallelujah mamunga at magkaroon ng resulta ang aming pag-aaral hanggang matapos itong itong fourth series of studies. We do, we do this Lord God only only to your glory para lang talaga na maluwalhati ka mapasaya ka Panginoon. Hallelujah. Aking samo at aking dalangin maging maging ang mga resources na iyong lupos mga offering na aming ibibigay Hallelujah Palaay mo Pastor Luis ang gawain sa Parilaw 
Lord Jesus, uh, lahat ng part ng ministry na ito, sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.